Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and this is my round two strategy for the Waco annual charity open. It's a three round tournament. And uh, yesterday I played conservative and shot a 1043 rated round. The round before in Las Vegas, I shot conservative and shot a 1030 something rated round. And I'm changing my strategy for today. I have to change my strategy for today and I'll explain why. So my belief is that by the end of the season, with all the changes I've made, I'm going to be a 10, 20 something ish player. And I played conservative and shot 10, 20 golf in Vegas, uh, final round. And then I happened to throw in a random fairway shot in the last hole. That's my 10, 30 something rating. Yesterday I played a 10, 20 something rated round conservative and just so happened to uh, all my putts went in. Uh, circle one, which in that those conditions, you typically miss a couple. But you can't expect that to happen every round. So I shot 10, 20 something and all the, the putts fell in. Super happy with 10, 40. That's above my rating. Here's the thing. If I was here to participate, make a good showing, uh, show everybody that I belong, uh, just to cash and make money for the charity I'm playing for. If I was here for all those reasons, I keep playing conservative and and couple 10, 20 rounds and I'm sitting solid top 20. It's not my goal. I'm here to win. And the thing about a 10, 20 player, well, I, let me speak for myself. As a 10, 20 something player, that's how I feel. I cannot play conservative golf and put together a couple 10, 60 or 10, 70 rounds and win. Uh, that falls outside the range of playing within your game at that level. A 10, 50 player can. They can play their game, throw in a couple extra putts, boom, 1070. I, I'm not in that position. I'm not at that skill level. I have to play more aggressive if I want to have a chance to win. The problem with playing ag aggressive is that it's more likely than not when you play aggressive, you will play poorer than your average. But here's the thing. If I play conservative, shoot a couple 10, 30 rounds, I'm guaranteed to lose the tournament. I'm not going to be un unhappy about my top 17 finish or something, but I won't have a chance to win. Zero percent. I have to play aggressive. Now, the cool thing is, is after playing a conservative solid round yesterday, I, I put myself in a position where I only need to play aggressive and succeed two rounds. That's a lot easier than three and forget, forget playing aggressive well for four rounds. Not going to happen. So I I'm in a position where I mathematically have a shot if I play aggressive and winning this tournament. Now here's what's going to happen during the round. I'm going to start off playing aggressive. Halfway through the round, if I'm not putting it together at that point, I'm not hot. At that point, I'm probably going to be 10 off the lead. I will concede that I'm not going to win the tournament. And at that point, let's stick to my game plan. Let's have a solid round. Let's play great on Sunday or play okay on Sunday. Let's cash. Let's you know, find the moral victory. If, however, after nine holes, I'm hot and I'm playing hot, I'm going to put my foot on the gas and play even more aggressive. Again, I'm here to win and my skill set does not allow me to do that with all conservative play. So I did the right thing yesterday, but we're making an adjustment today. Uh, final thing, it is not a defeatist attitude to say, well, if I don't play well, here's what I'm going to do. When you're creating strategy, you have to take in those different situations. Uh, for example, if you're playing a hole with out of bounds in a drop zone in practice, you practice your approach shot from the drop zone. That's not being defeatist. It's not a lack of confidence. It's what you do. It's correct strategy. So that's what I'm going to do today. So we'll see how it goes. If I don't get off to a hot start, I won't be kicking myself for playing too aggressive because I know it's my only shot to win. That's my game plan today. That's why I'm doing it. And uh, I'll let you know in about four hours how that turned out. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.